So for this year, one of our sites was in Ngororero district, it's in the eastern province of Rwanda from Kigali to the district, so like uh, three hours. So where we have the trainings in July this year, it's just for Gatumba sector and the Buira sector, where we train the people how they can repair the road in our district. So for, for Gatumba site, as I said, it's one from the Ngororero district. It was a narrow section from the infrastructure of the sector to near to the village. It was a very usable road, but the issue was just from the, they don't have a proper drainage. So the, there were so many potholes where during the season the car can't pass. So we tried our best to provide our intervention using the technology how the road can be passable during raining season and also after raining season. Bugira site, it was just for hill site where the slope was about twelve percent, where the slope was not a flat area, but the section was being bad due to the soil erosion, and also there the drainage was in a good proper way. So the issue was just to raise up the profile and try to protect that soil erosion. Where we found that that situation, we try to make a pilot study how can we protect soil erosion using our tunnel technology. As Duno technology is a soil enforcement, it's just to take soil and put in the bags for the proper way. So the procedures are the same, the procedures we use for also repairing or maintaining any road. The first point is to identify the bad section, the most bad section, because we did do technology, it's not a matter of repairing a wrong road for within some more kilometers, just in order to take a, a small, a bad some section to be repaired. So the first point, the first procedure is just to start by identifying of bad section. After identifying that section, we just do a clearance. If there is some muddy soil you have to remove, if there is some grasses you have to site clearance. After the clearance you have to put the maram or soil, that is specific soil in the bags. Tying, after tying you put in the proper way. So we have our specific way of laying bags. After laying some bags we use our hammer compactions for 20 times per each box. So after that compaction, you spread the wearing course and 
if it is for the moisture content, sometimes you have to mix with water or not, depending on the soil condition or maram at the site due to the availability of material. Uh, you spread the wearing course and do a final convection. So for our final convection, also we compact using our hammer convections. Due to the unique of digital technology, we use our only our hands and the available material, but the road also it become more sustainable and be used for between five and ten years. Another project site for this year was in the Kirehe district, is in eastern province. We are from Kigali to the site is about um, four hours. That road was just from the main road, Makadam Road, to the refugee camp in Mahama camp. The road was just having so many bad sections, but due to the site visit with the district, they tried to show us the bad section where they tried for so many times and they failed. So for that section, as we said, you have to identify the cause of the problem at the site. As I said, the nearby was sand quarry so after the excavator uh, around the section just the water divert to the road so due to that the sand soil on the road the soil are not capable to resist to the water so a half of road was just broken due to that issue for the road users themselves they decided to put some stones sometimes to allow their car to pass they, they, they failed. Also, a government around there, they invite people for Umuganda program. So they take a big box and they fill sand and they put in the, in the road. Also, they failed because they was not putting in the proper way and not using the proper material to be used in the road. So the road was also broken. During the site selection, this city government take us to that section to see if we can provide a solution to that section. So for us also we found it possible due to that due to our the new technology. So we started by removing all those stones and all those bags they was put before because all those bags and the stone they have never provided a solution on that section. The intervention was just to raise up the profile of the road as we said after removing all those things. We raise up the profile by laying different bags according to the deep of the section and how the section was. So after putting all those bags, we provide a masonry work by making a strong abutment. For the intervention also, we may have to think about the structure of the drainages. Due to the cause of that section, as I said, we provide the bridges by using link culverts. So we made two bridges. The first was a, a big one with 150 centimeter of the diameter. The second one was the small one with 75 centimeter diameter to make sure that next time water will follow the bridges we made. Usually we use rock bridge, but for this site, it's better to think to improve the structure of drainages. This is why we use these big carvats or two bridges. Mm -hmm.